It looks like we're going right into it. Hello, chat. Can you hear us? Ooh. All right. Yeah, yeah we're yeah, feeling yeah. good. How you guys doing? I'm Laird. I'm joined by Turtle Hands on Mike. Get ready for top eight of, of Xanadu Homecoming because, oh, mama, this has been an event to remember so far. Yeah, more than an event to remember. I mean, Smob already making a very good run. Uh, very talented player. And then Kershaw having a few close, close calls. Uh, dropped a game to Wood and then kind of cleaned things up very nicely. Both of these players sitting at winner's semis. Going to be right. a very, very heated match. Yeah, now, listen, this is Ridley Pac-Man. Ridley, he's a big dude. He gets comboed a lot by Pac-Man. Pac-Man's close quarters mm -hmm. game is, bar none, one of the best in the entire game, and it works so well with the rest of his projectiles. So it's such a good conditioning character. But on the other hand, you got big ol' hard-hitting, hard-swinging Ridley, who really likes to do a bunch of other stuff. And you actually made this character, Turtle. Yeah. Uh, the problem is, up smash is usually not gonna hit Pac-Man unless he jumps. Uh, there are some very small exceptions. Great timing on that standard getup. That's a classic Ridley maneuver. We love to see those. Yeah. Ridley actually has a pretty easy time of dealing with the Hydrant, believe it or not. Uh, his F-Tilt just destroys it in one hit. Really? Like, uh, we Sweet Spot or Sour Spot? Sweet Spot. Okay. But hey, that, that's gonna be a good option for him later on. And he takes the first stock. He's going up ahead oh. already. Um, and yeah, we see Kershawn now waiting with the bell, and he's going to drop it out of the hit, so that's going to be not very good for him. He needs to commit some time to charging it up again. He yeah. does have an apple on hand, though. Yeah. And I really do like that Smob is closing the distance right away when he sees that fruit charge, trying to force Kers Kershawn to swing and get that really good counter hit. Yeah. Okay. Good, good lead trapping option there. The F tilt so long, so safe. Covers a bunch of options at the same time. Ooh. Misread the jump, and he's going to pay the price for that one. <laughs> going too crazy with the back air, and he is going to get belled into the F smash. But Kershawn took a lot of damage, a lot of extra credit from Smub there. Mm -hmm. If Smub can clean this stock up, things are going to be really good. Pac-Man can get these really good early percentage damage combos, though, so Smub has to be insanely careful. Yup. Yup. Perfect with punish. Man, and I love I love watching Smub in the player can. After he uh, qualified for top eight, he, he popped off really hard. Uh, we were playing friendlies at the time, so we were yeah. able to see it and everything. And it was, it was just a, a sight to behold. So watching him pop off for every hit. You know, he's got a really strong mental state, and that's going to be difficult <gasps> to deal with. Go! He's going to go Let's through the trampoline go! with the Space Pirate <laughs> Rush. What a guy. Man. Wow. To have the absolute gusto to do that in a bracket set and be like, bro, you're Pac-Man. You have 60 billion ways to recover. I don't care. I'm still going for the suicide up B, and you're just dead. I know exactly where your drift is going. You're going to try to hang out as close to the edge of the stage because you're scared of me right now. And sometimes putting the fear of God into your opponent is th the big deal whenever it comes to winning a set. A big foot is real, and it's on Ridley, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, they've been looking for him in uh, the Pacific Northwest, but he was right here in uh, MDVA. <laughs> a big foot spiking Pac-Man all the way back to the 80s. Yeah, man, where he belongs, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, just kidding. I, I love I love watching no, Pac Man. Pac Man game. crazy, dude. He's got so many scrapping tools that make it very difficult for big bodies to consistently fight him, right? Because right. if you're a big body and you know how to deal with hydrant, you know how to deal with the bonus fruit, kind of catching items, you have a bit of an easier time, but then Pac Man gets one forward air on you and you're at fifty. Right, right. <laughs> and, and on top of that, if he has a good fruit in hand, he can really keep that going for quite a long way. Now something from Krishan that we're not seeing a lot of is we're not seeing a lot of general all purpose zoning. We're not seeing the oranges come out. We're not seeing any of the apples to cover those those hard angles. Oh my god! And we, see, we do see Smub going down deep to deal a lot of extra damage. But again, the key to this matchup is to keep Pac-Man in disadvantage state and to not let him hit you out of it either. Mm, yeah, even that low forward air, despite it being safe, Ridley can still go for that nair, predicting what Kershaw is going to do next. Kershaw has to be much more careful about this. Smub hasn't gotten the hit yet. Yeah, and these two frames, man, they're definitely helping him keep Kershaw off stage and deal a lot of this extra damage. 128%. One good hit from Ridley will take this out. Forward air not going to continue into anything else. And he's looking for stuff, but Smub is doing a good job of just hanging out on stage not afraid of the grab at all <gasps> oh yes perfect. yep you love to see him bait that hydrant he knows exactly what it's gonna do it's kind of like baiting steve down air you get out of the way and then immediately kill the hydrant with the dash attack and kill pac-man in the process yeah and he even used that to extend the hitbox as well and i love the little mix up at the ledge okay. down throw into the grab okay he recognizes that he needs a little bit more damage there and some positioning mm -hmm. uh, he does have smub in the corner and this is where ridley does not want to be in this matchup bell is out but he is going to get the hit with the nair and interrupt krishan from grabbing it yeah, smub kind of pulling the trigger a 
little bit too early on some of these punish options, and Kershawn definitely getting momentum because of it. 126% on Ridley is extremely scary for Kershawn, but getting very, very close to that kill. He just needs to get it now. Momentum is one thing. Actually taking stocks is a completely different story here, Turtle. Oh, and Smub right now is holding down the fortress. Yeah, I mean, the, the plasma breath just absolutely overwhelming. The forward tilts coming out. These anti-airs are just, yup. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful extension. Throws the bell a second time immediately. Smub was not ready for it and he gets forward thrown into <gasps> the attack. Okay. Perfect timing on the get up there. Yeah, you can't punish that. Kershaw this time being very patient, remaining in shield there, knowing that Smub did not want to go for a grab. Yep, and I like that usage of the bell there. A lot of damage with Smub off stage, and this big, massive lead that Smub had a second ago has all but evaporated. Exactly. Pac-Man, again, can rack on the damage. It's never out of the cards for him to bring back a matchup, especially with that bell in hand right past the ledge, but still the pressure continues. Smub keeps looking for a smash that can try to end this thing, but now you can tell he's running to a bit of a wall. He's having a hard time dealing with it, and there's the back air. Kurt mm -hmm. Sean takes the first lead of the set for him. Yeah, this is where Ridley definitely struggles. Once you get past the idea that Ridley can fare you from ledge at any time, his options from ledge are fairly linear. He has to commit very hard, and he's a huge target, and Kurt Sean is making the most of it so far, 56% and climbing. I love these apple combos too, and he gets a little bit of extra damage on with the orange. Smub now looking for oh. the stock. Held his bonus fruit for too long. Actually, I think he didn't have a jump there, so Perhaps. he's going to be uh, biting the dust on that one. Might give Smub a little bit of breathing room, but then again, he is commencing the aerial bombardment. Wow. Grab release into the bell back air. Mm -hmm. Not going to go for a smash attack there, though. I think that might have actually been a little bit of a costly mistake. But then again, he has bell yet oh, again, perfect. and there's wow. F smash, not up smash. Two wasted potential opportunities to kill for Kershot. Oh, and now Smub. One hit from Ridley can be all it takes. Whoa! Oh, that was the hit, but he missed it. Barely drifting back just far enough. Kershawn is able to eke that one out at the very end. And you know what? I love that Smub likes to swing for the fences like that. This man is playing a home run derby, and he's the only player. Yeah, perhaps he didn't need to do that, given how uh, prominent his ledge trapping was at the beginning of the set, right? Uh, he was doing such a good job of keeping Kershawn on the stage. He got him from like zero to like over 100 insanely quickly. But in the end, what did it get you? Yeah. It's just unfortunate that he kind of felt like he had to go down and uh, use the uh, the SD up B, but we yeah. are still living right now. Kershaw one one against Smub, and they're going straight back to small battlefield. Yeah, I, you know, I, I quite like the stage. I feel like a lot of people like the stage because it's just diet Pokemon Stadium too, a little bit. And there's that Galaga combo dealing up to, I think a little bit of helped out get 50% there. Yeah. Uh, that combo was already going on, but the Galaga helped extend it a lot yep. more. We love to see that. If you get that auto cancel on the back air, it's very easy pickings for Ridley's up tilt. These big combos now are being answered by a lot of strong, devastating hits that Smub's able to okay. continue to keep getting. Well, these guys are about even considering the weight differential. And I love that two frame, too. I cannot believe that reach onto the stage, but that pokey tail, man. Yeah, it's one of the best two frame options in the game for sure. Very low commitment. Definitely Kershaw. One of the best that tilt. <gasps> yeah, he see he felt like he needed to get out of shield because he was getting grabbed in that situation every single time, and he chose jump, which was the wrong option in that scenario. Yeah. Really okay. definitely struggles against the bell because he's such a big body. It's so difficult for him to trade with it or avoid it or anything, but he's able to take that stock away. It's a pretty even game here at the start of the second stock. We have Bell on deck. A little bit early for nice. that, I think. This time he rolls in. Kershaw is not ready for it. And Smub has the ledge pressure once again. He's get, yep, going to use the extra bounce oh. on the trampoline. He's got a Galaga going. He's going to try to get a second one, but the shield from Smub is going to help him survive a little bit. But that doesn't stop the pressure and the combo damage from coming out. Kershaw takes a percent lead again. Yeah, scrapping like he's Mario out here. Pac-Man definitely got the boots and he's got the he got the gloves. Yes, sir. And he is not afraid to stick it to you. There's the key. Oh, I think he was looking for Bell there, but it actually transitioned over the top instead. But he's got Bell that's dead. Mm -hmm. A little bit of sauce on that. Yeah. Kershawn with another two-stock lead here on Small Battlefield. Yeah, and this is the problem, right? When you're Ridley, you feel no. like you have to close this gap immediately. You have to, like, go in. Pressure Pac-Man did not set up his camp, but sometimes patience is a virtue in these scenarios. However, Smub at the ledge, again, we've seen perfect stuff coming out. Yeah, wow. that's, that's the heavy mentality, man. Swing for the fences. Don't hold anything back. 
Trishan stalling off okay. stage, recognizing that he didn't have a re-grab. And I like the deep commitment there by Smub, but he's going to sacrifice stage control, and you do not want to do that against Pac-Man. 47% mm -hmm. off the hitbox extension into the Hydrant. Has B Apple again. Is going to reset, get the uh, Bell in his back pocket now, using the water to boost him a little bit further. Bell, pressure on top of things. Yeah. Going to go for the F-Smash. Not going to get anything. Nice tech. Yep. That's what we love to see. Smub still hanging in here. Kershawn, though, has so much momentum. An instant grab way faster than Ridley's side B. Yeah, that grab, something really important about it is it might not be incredibly long, and it does last a while, but it lingers. That hitbox is active the whole time. I love that deep commitment to the forward air, recognizing that Sean would have to, or Kershawn would have to spend a jump in order to use his bonus fruit. Now Kershawn versus Smub in our last straights oh. here. The Z-drop, the footstool. Okay, okay, trying to get all kinds of custom on us. Kershawn still sitting at 0%. Smub has so much work to make up and an 154 full rage. What does he have in the cards? He does have full rage. I'm glad you pointed that out, Turtle. Uh, yeah. But it's not mm. going to be enough. The trade-off of being full rage means you're dying one hit. He's going to run it right back to small battlefield again. I, I don't quite like this because You've already run into a wall of your opponent twice on this stage. Mm -hmm. You definitely want to try to go for a mix-up here. But then again, with this stage list, I really don't know if there's any better options for Ridley. It's really interesting, right? Because there are matchups where you feel like you need more space against the zoners in order to break their zone consistently. But you kind of don't want to do that against Pac-Man because Hydrant kind of already sections off the stage in small in small gaps. So it can be tough for Smub to get the momentum he needs and keep it. Uh, but yeah. Kershawn really likes these small zones right here under the platform because he can just get a straight hit like that in air and just take it a mile. Yeah, and Hydrant in this matchup works akin to Steve's block where your opponent has to interact with it in order to get to you. So it gives you a lot of like stage control on the ground, you know. And uh, also, it's definitely something that both players could play around mm. in a big way. Waiting for the landing to get a second one. Oh Drop the Hydra on for a little bit of extra damage. I like that. 85% now. Smub, who had an early lead, is now getting the bricks put on him yet again. Yeah, I mean, Kershawn feels like the kind of player that drops game one and then decides, all right, I've figured everything out. And now we're he seeing... will try. Yeah, that's the downloading progress. Yeah. <laughs> Nice right. run-up shield there from Smob. He's going to try to go for the air dodge read, and he gets it. it was a little bit ahead of his time. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm interested to see Smob go for the forward throw there. I, I know he's trying to kind of set up a scenario, but I feel like down throw does the same thing, except it makes the, the combo a little bit tighter. Yeah. Nice grab there. Raw grab. Recognized that Smub was scared of the bonus fruit, so he was going to shield. Okay. Catches the high jump yeah. with the bell and the nice high arc catching a back air, too. And now there's Galaga in the hand. He's able to get only 10% on the good SDI from Smub to not get hit by the second hit. And I love the hitbox extension there with the Hydrant. The up smash going to connect too. Krishan high up in the air, has the Hydrant chasing him down in the corner. But he is just going to get his bonus roots in return. Yeah, I mean, he's just like air camping Ridley. <laughs> he's literally just floating around, going from ledge to ledge. And it's working out quite well. That surprise dash attack, not quite going to be enough to close it. But I beat. Yes, yep. I love that answer, too. Uses the pellet to extend the hitbox of the Nair. But even if he missed the Pac-Man, that was a smub who was going to have to use all three jumps on his trampoline just for a yeah. chance to make it back. Exactly. And Ridley can really close the gap there. It, oh, that was That's such no a good Nair extension. But going a little bit too deep on the rest of the edge guard there is smub. Yeah. Not even okay. going to follow up, but man, this damage is starting to pile up. And Smub, against all odds, back in the lead here. Back in the lead, indeed. Not covering the roll quite correctly. A ton of pressure here from Kershawn. All right, Kershawn cannot re-grab that bell. Yeah, really good smart conditioning there from Kershawn, too, because he recognized that Smub is really used to coming in after he drops the bell for the second time. Yeah. And we saw Mub up smash, or Smub up smash the Hydrant there. You really don't... Okay, okay, good stuff. Closing the gap with that dash attack again, but you really don't want to use a smash attack on that Hydrant because Pac-Man are just waiting for you to do it and then with punishing you. Yeah, but I will say shout-outs to Kershawn, recognizing that the... Orange was in the hand of Smub, and then going for the down throw to get multiple hits in so that he drops the uh, the weapon. Oh my oh! gosh, yeah. You got a get up attack there or roll away. You cannot stand your get up on that bell. It is active for the whole time that it is visible. Yeah, I think Kershawn was trying to time it, or sorry, Smub was trying to time it so that Kershawn would pick up the bell again. Mm. But uh, no, Kershawn recognized that and said, no, I'm just going to wait. Yeah, man, he's, he's flexing his big Pac Man brain there. Yeah, and honestly, Smub hasn't used Rid Ridley's ledge roll a single time. That's Kershawn true. hasn't had to cover it at all. Yeah, so 
smart to expect that he won't be doing that. Now, both players on their last stock, Smub will be finding his way into loser's bracket should he fail to win this. Okay, great timing there. Nice forward air, not gonna kill just yet. 112% though, gonna catch him out with the plasma breath, not gonna get the two frame on the side B. He's in the corner, and he's gonna <gasps> read nice, that with an up yuck. smash. Nice catch. Definitely way faster than the down smash would have been, Turtle. Mm -hmm, exactly, uh, and Smub, uh, habitually likes to shield camp in those positions, just in case somebody tries to go for a retaliate, retaliatory aerial of some sort. But uh, he could have rolled down smash, it would have worked the same exact way. But up smash, the back hit will hit a little bit lower than yeah. the front hit. Yeah. So. And also, that's where the move starts. So that's where yep. the initial hitbox is going to be, too. So yeah. perfect, a, a perfect read. Yeah, that move covers jump, that covers uh, roll behind, as you saw, and it covers spot dodge. Yeah, and so. it's an anti-air tool. So if someone's trying to land on top of you, you got you know somebody to cover those platforms. Yeah, uh, his foot is intangible during it, so that's don't true. land on Ridley. That That's my number one advice to you. Yes, <laughs> yes. If you want to get better at the game, if you're landing on Ridley, uh, don't. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> so we're going to see what the counter pick is. I kind of miss it here. We're looking for a, a character yeah, counter pick, maybe. No way. No, he's yeah, yeah, right yeah, to no All right, way. Maybe trying to psych us out and Smub as well. Yeah, because uh, Smub already beat uh, the Mighty Dialga today in winner's bracket. That's so. true. Uh, but they're going to gentlemen's back to SBF. Now, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, MDSR rule is in effect here. But, you know, both players being OK with the stage again. Uh, wow. You know. Early Bell, interesting. He didn't go for Galaga and is kind of getting rewarded for it already, 70%. I think Kershaw has kind of sensed that Smub does not play around the Bell very well at all. Yeah. Well, then again, it is very difficult because you are Ridley, but it does mm -hmm. open him up to a lot of late game conditioning that Kershaw could pull out should yeah. he start taking notes on that. And he hasn't been hit a single time yet, but then again, okay. only one up tilt. Yeah, the up tilt will not combo at 0% as Ridley. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, there's the yep. smash and See, that's a what I mean. near zero to death there. Only one hit coming in from Smub. Kershawn's momentum right now is through the roof. Mm -hmm. Excellent grab there on the standard getup. Kershawn's been throwing out a lot of standard getups as well. I mean, even they're using it, but uh, Smub uh, just needs to get a little bit more on it. Hasn't been perfect on those punishes. Yeah. Pac-Man dash attack on shield's been something that Kershawn's uh -oh. been using a lot. I love that roll read, though. Nice up smash on the platform. Catches every single option there. Yeah, and then the up smash kind of leaving him in a little bit of lag. Kershaw just taking the opportunity to throw some fruit. Yeah. Okay, a little bit too early. Kershaw, if he has to go back to ledge, it's going to be a regrab. He's not going to do that, though. He's going to drift in at a perfect angle so that Smub is not able to punish him. Yeah, I think. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. Sm up smash out of shield. Yeah, the up smash out of shield. Very good retaliatory, retaliatory option there. Yeah. My goodness. And for a lot of characters, you know. Uh, actually, uh, universally, out of shield, up and up smash are, uh, you know, they cancel the shield's uh, cancel time, you know? Yeah. So you're able to do up smash pretty much immediately as if you're on the ground anyway. Exactly. Oh my gosh, Kershaw using that nair to defend himself from the hydrant. Very good awareness. Yeah. Right now we're looking at a, a you know, pretty back and forth game, wow. despite the fact that Kershaw is up really high. The whole set's just been these two trading uh -oh. advantage states and then seeing who could take theirs further. Looking okay. for the spike, not going to get it. Yeah, and I like the idea there because it forces you to choose a ledge option anyway. Otherwise, you're going to get ledge trumped and then you can you, you risk getting hit by Ridley Bear. Yeah. Kershaw, however, still has a ton of momentum. Again, the bell doing so much work. It seems like Smub is always taking to the sky in order to avoid the bell and Kershaw's taking full advantage of that. This is winner's stock here for Smub. Can he be able to deal with Kershawn, or will Kershawn continue the momentum that he's accrued across the course of this set? Right now, it's looking pretty close. Yeah, just letting that Galaga go. Perfect timing on the F-tilt, but nothing quite yet. Yep, really good DI from Kershawn there to survive that. He's going up over the top, has to retreat back to ledge. That's a regrab, but the Hydrant is going to cover him for a little yeah, bit. And that F-tilt was a little bit stale, so it did not destroy the Hydrant. However, still alive. Uh. No rage on that side B. Oh, he's going to get nope. up with a super armor. It's going to end up being his demise. 161. But the wow. Oh, the yeah, F-Smash will kill yeah. a raid from the ledge. Mm -hmm. The pop-off from Kershawn, and he's earned that one. Yeah, definitely. I, I feel like Smub just had so much desperation there. And again, his option of never choosing a ledge roll just came back to bite him because Kershawn said, OK, Pac-Man F-Smash lingers for seven years. I'm just going to use it. I don't need to cover roll because you've never given me the idea that I have to cover roll. Yeah. Now, to be fair, Heavy's, Heavy's roll at ledge, so kind of suspect because their hitboxes are quite big. Interestingly enough, 
Ridley's ledge roll, in terms of sheer invincibility frames, mm -hmm. is like the worst in the game. However, uh, he runs out of in those invincibility frames when he gets to his destination. Okay. So a lot of characters will like roll and then like halfway through their roll, they'll lose their invincibility. Ridley kind of just goes. Yeah. Yeah.